just wanted to share something with you. It's something I've been pondering over probably a week, I reckon. And it's people who come to me uh, for coaching around alcohol that have clearly got a lot going off in life that needs to be resolved beyond their alcohol issues, but they believe that their alcohol use is one of the main reasons why things are like they are. Somebody contacted me recently and they'd actually been in touch with me in the past. And when I checked the messages, it was four years ago. Uh, they sent me a message four years ago saying basically they need to get a lid on the drinking. It's causing them a lot of problems. Uh, it's causing uh, issues at home uh, and work and stuff like that. And generally they just feel crap. That was 2019. Exchanged a couple of messages with this person and then didn't hear anything again. Uh, and a couple of weeks ago, I got a message off this person again. Basically just saying, I know we've been here before, but could we talk again about my alcohol use? Um, and basically just said that things were a mess. Every aspect of his life was a mess. Uh, and that ultimately this person was failing their family and was very worried about their future and knew that they needed a break off alcohol with a view to just stopping long term. Um, and I've been pondering over this uh, the reason why I've been thinking a lot is because it kind of coincided with the same amount of time I've stopped drinking um, and I've seen the differences in my life and the upturn and things have got better and continue to do so. Um, and this person carried on drinking and things have got worse, much worse in fact. Um, I don't think over the four and a half years that I've been sober, I've ever had anyone that's came to me to stop drinking and then decided to carry on and then come back and said, yeah, I'm fine, everything's fine to be honest, everything's just still drinking, things have got better and things have sorted themselves out. Every time it's things have got worse. So I was just pondering over why we persist with alcohol and I know there's a lot of reasons to carry on drinking, but if things get worse, why do we persist? Um, I think quite a lot of the time people are blocking issues out. I certainly were blocking traumatic issues from my past out with alcohol uh, and it's very good at blocking things out. But I do believe at some point uh, it's gonna come out and I think if you block out, eventually it's probably gonna all come out in a very unhealthy uh, way. Um, but it's easier to carry on drinking in the short term, I think. Um, it's easier just to stay another person that drinks and to do all the things that come with it, the socialising, the drinks after work, uh, the mad nights out, the weddings and, and all that. That's easier to do. Um, to not do that means a lot of work on your part uh, and a lot of struggle uh, and a fight. And that's a lot to deal with and a lot to face up to. And sometimes it's easier just to put that off. But I believe that for the struggle in the short term, it means that it gets easier in the long term. The hard route long term is to carry on drinking. Um, your physical health gets worse if you carry on drinking. Your mental health definitely gets worse. Your stress and anxiety will get worse. If it's bad already and you carry on drinking, it will get worse. Your relationships get worse. Your family will suffer. Essentially, drinking is very, very selfish. And your family, your kids, your husband, your wife, whoever, are gonna suffer as a consequence of your drinking. I believe that if you can cut down on alcohol or stop, all these things will get better. So instead of them getting worse, they get better. The last thing what I wanted to say on it is that if you do wanna make a change, if you wanna cut down on alcohol, or you wanna stop completely, let's not wait for a Monday to start. Let's not wait for January <laughs> to start. Like, this is not something to start at a certain time, like, it gets worse. There's no good time to start it. January is definitely not a good time to start it. Um, if you're serious about making these changes and improving your life, and it will improve your life, start today. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments.